We have been talking about the New World Order's plan to implode the currency for over a decade here on this radio show. And how they would stage terror attacks first and put a police state grid in so that when they bankrupt the country and set up tyranny, when people resist, they'll try to crush it. They tried to label any demonstrations, any political activism, any criticism of government as terrorism. That is the total proof it's a rogue, illegitimate criminal government. How dare they say we have no First Amendment? Or redefine the First Amendment down to almost nothing. We're here. This is the beginning of the full plunge into world tyranny. And so now, more than ever, we need to be on the air, reaching more people. You need to be reaching more people in hundreds of different ways. You're smart. Do whatever you can in your area and warn everyone and explain to them that a criminal, illegitimate hijacking is taking place. You know, if a hijacker went up, got into the cockpit, pointed their guns at the captains and his co-pilot, put on American Airlines uniforms, and came back into the rest of the plane and started giving orders, if, if, if everybody on the plane started following their orders and believing that not only were they just hijackers, no, that they are the real captains now because they're wearing the uniform. And then the tied-up real captain and his co-pilot get out of the bonds they're in, get to firearms in the safes they have, which a lot of airplanes now have, thanks to people fighting for that, and try to retake the plane and instead, you've got the 200 people on the plane attacking the captains because they're in their underwear and undershirts. And the, and the people on board the plane are saying, get them. Yes, help the hijackers who are in captain uniforms stop the men in their underwear because they're not really the captains. They're evil men in their undershirts. That's how this works. These criminal bankers have control of our media, control of the Pentagon, control of most of the Congress, control of many of the governors. We're trying to get the states to stand up, point their finger, and not just say, you're out of control, federal government, you're too big. No, to say, you're illegitimate. You've been seized in a private corporate offshore takeover. That's what's really gone on here, ladies and gentlemen. It's so simple. Wake up out of your trance. Recognize what's going on. Ken Lay of Enron, I use him as an example because he's the best-known corporate crook, next to Madoff and a few others. He was the founder. Madoff was the founder of the NASDAQ, the second biggest stock exchange in the world. Ken Lay was the biggest energy trader and energy company in the world. He set up the scams. The internal memos have been out for seven years now, how they set up scams in California and other states, paying off politicians to double and triple power rates, saying it was for the environment. They wrote the carbon tax plan, the one that was adopted. They first cooked it up in the 60s, put a tax on carbon. It's the exact same crew of criminals. There was a Reuters article of all publications yesterday admitting that every key regulator, every key person in the government, in England, the U.S., and Germany, that are taking over the banking system criminally are Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs are the pilots of the private Federal Reserve banking system. That's the investment bank brokerage firm consortium that has been given the contract by the New World Order to pilot the operation. Why do you think I'm on the White House enemies list? Why do you think they've got COINTELPRO going against me 24-7 trying to discredit me in disinformation and infighting campaigns? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get up here and have Ron Paul on and ask him, should we have grand juries indict the bankers? And he will say yes. And I sit here beating the drum to go after the real government. They don't want you talking about Goldman Sachs and the private Federal Reserve. They want you talking about Jews. They want you talking about Catholics. They want you talking about Masons. They want you talking about and then having all these factionalized groups fighting with each other over who runs the New World Order system, regardless of who runs the New World Order system. There's Germans, there's Jews, there's Protestants, there's Catholics. All the big power groups are working for the New World Order now. 
instead of fighting with each other, which the globalists, and it's been released in the media, run most of the white supremacist groups and other organizations, instead of them trying to poison and taint the movement against the, the banks by making it a racial and religious issue, how about we just agree, whether you're a Hindu, a Jew, a Christian, a Catholic, that we're against an unelected private world government taxing the air we breathe and all human activities. How about we just come together and agree that we want national sovereignty and a Bill of Rights and a Constitution? See, we have to be for something, not just against something. They want us fighting with each other. That's in the COINTELPRO documents. It's in the declassified 1994 Army Manual on how to get groups fighting with each other. This is what's going on. And they hate my guts because I'm trying to bring unity to people. And I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that my sixth sense tells me I've never been in more danger. But I'm honored to be in this position, and I'm honored to be truthful, and I'm honored to be an honorable person. It doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I am pure of heart. I am a good person who believes in what I'm doing and knows I'm right and is willing to risk my life to do what I'm doing here today. Because I have counted the cost, and I know these people are pure evil. Dyncor, Halliburton, they've all been caught running giant slavery games of men and boys and women for slave labor and for sex and for sex trade. I mean, it's admitted in congressional hearings. It's admitted in hundreds of publications. It's admitted the CIA and the Army grows the cocaine and grows the opium and controls the fields and attacks whoever they don't control. They just admit all this out in the open now. We have an evil government run by evil companies, period. It's broken. It's rotten. You know, they just caught some convicted rapist with more than 10 bodies buried on his property. And neighbors that didn't know he was a convicted rapist are on the news going, he was such a nice neighbor, I had him over for coffee, I can't believe it. It doesn't matter if you think the government's nice. They're killers. They've been caught thousands of times. They're ruthless, murdering, child-raping scum. That's who runs it. That's who honchos it. Period. And a lot of you know this is true. I talked to a lot of police, a lot of military, a lot of executives, and they go, look, we know you're right. These are killers. Yeah, so you don't give in to them and roll over. You stand up to them. I can't control myself. I have to fight somebody coming down on me. I don't run. Especially when I know there's nowhere to run to. There was some new continent, some new free country I could go to. I'd go there, join their military, try to defend that free country. There's nowhere to run to. Don't you understand that? All I can do is fight these people. Even if you think you serve them. They're going to destroy you. They're spiking your water. They're spiking your food. They're spiking your vaccines. They're spraying you with chemtrails and now admitting it. Don't you understand? These people can't be bargained with. They can't be reasoned with. They are pure evil. They compete with each other to see who's more ruthless. They give each other awards. They admire darkness. They, they admire the power, the black flame, as they call it, the black sun, the black sunshine. Well, they really get mad having those secrets let out on air. You know what, 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 what ties together, what binds the globalists, whether they're German or Jewish or Catholic or Protestant or Hindu or Japanese or Chinese or Mexican? What binds them together is that they are hyper-competitive, sadistic psychopaths and twisted individuals who revel in pain and death and destruction. And they bind themselves together in guilds to carry out criminal operations. And they've had hundreds of years to amass wealth and to hone their universities of corruption and evil. Their systems are colleges of corruption. They study our psychological systems. They manipulate you. They manipulate us all. You are not fulfilled and you are not happy and you are not truly alive because you have not struck out against evil. You have not stood up. You have not become a true man, a true woman. You will not be fulfilled until you are prepared to lay your life down for others and not on a fake cause. The New World Order's greatest power is they have good people working for them who they manipulate and give a false 
script to psychologically and culturally, and then you have all these good people working for evil, believing the candy coating of what they're doing, not understanding the deeper secrets. But you scratch the surface of any New World Order system, you will find the black gulfs of hell. Because the light and goodness and love and innocence is like a burning flame to these people. They are the tidal opposite of goodness. Don't you understand they're a singularity of hell, a vortices? Evil implodes to prime pure evil. It has a gravitational weight. It immediately accelerates to pure evil the minute you give in to it. It overtakes you, consumes you. You are bathed in evil from sun up to sundown. Evil is real. 